Now, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Live from the UFC Apex, Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the main event of the evening. Five rounds scheduled this in the UFC light heavyweight division. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, the executive director, Jeff Mullen. The chairman is Stephen J. Klubeck. The three judges scoring at octagon side, Mike Bell, Derek Cleary, and Sal D'Amato. And when the action begins inside the octagon, your referee in charge, Mark Smith. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the judges are ready and the fighters are ready. Las Vegas, make some noise if you are ready! <laughs> Introducing you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a striker standing six feet, three inches tall. Weighing in officially 194 pounds in 15 fights. His record stands at 12 victories with three defeats. Fighting out of Paris, France. Here he is, Nator Dean Imava. And across the octagon stands his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This mixed martial artist stands six feet, one inch tall. He weighed officially 204 pounds and in 30 professional fights, holds a record of 25 victories with five defeats. Fighting out of Corona, California, here is Sean Strickland! Go, All right, gentlemen, you got your instructions earlier. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. How about we touch gloves? Good luck. Reluctant touch of the gloves between these two. Sean Strickland and Nasordin Imavov will go down as your first main event on the UFC's 2023 calendar. If it's anything like we kicked off last year with That's Calvin Cater and Giga Chikadze, right? buckle right. up. That was an epic affair. One of the fights of the year. Sean Strickland in black, Nasordini Mavov in white. First round underway. Look how close Strickland gets right off the bat, standing straight up tall. Watch for a double leg there. Ooh, that hook came quick. And that's the one that knocked him out, and so that's what he's looking for. That's a good read, and that means the coaches were smart. Pick that out, know that he got caught with that one. Didn't have a lot of time a full camp to do their homework from the film study perspective on Strickland. Well, that's the that's the that left hook is what uh, Pajeda touched him with and was able to get him. So they're looking for it, and that's what you're seeing Mavov look for early. How close that Strickland gets is what's still, ooh, got him with that hook. That's what's gonna be different for a mob off to adjust to is look how close Strickland gets and he plots forward and he stays in that range. That's gonna be different because nobody's been able to keep oh. mob off to sit still. Yeah, he oh. doesn't stop that's why. Before, but <laughs> that oh. right hand will stop you. Yeah, that that's was the why. overhand right. Now he found a home for the left. He mob off on the offensive early. Left hand gets through there for Strickland. Sean, look at him, throwing kicks early, guys. Yeah, that's a new wrinkle, right? It was pretty much exclusively boxing against Jared Cannonier last month. Fingers. And Strickland's been tough to land on over the course of his career. He just kind of, he'll stay close, but he's still tough to get that big shot against him. Kind of reach for the hands and find an opening. Somebody who stands that tall, that straight up, you gotta kinda go to the body on a guy like Strickland if you're in Mababa, in Maba. Because it's so hard to head hunt him. Oh, stutter step, he fainted low, did he Mavov, and he came up that close to that. That was Upper nice. Cut. Oh, counter shot from Strickland. And this is what Strickland wants to do. He wants to head off Imavov, create the phone booth scenario over and over. And that's what you're seeing him do patiently. Ooh. Pressuring. Sean getting aggressive. Oh, man. Yeah. 
And he's patient. And he's pressuring just right. And this is what happens after you come off a very close decision like he did in his last fight. You, you want to be more aggressive. And we said, you know, we're hoping to see that from him. Maybe press the issue a little bit. And here he is. He's definitely pressing the issue. And now he's up in the clinch position. He's got double underhooks. See if he tries to transition, transition this into a takedown. I mean, this is already more aggressive in terms of the output and, than, than how he fought Cannoneer. And that's Obviously what he was in there for five rounds. Sorry about that, Fitz. That's what he said he wanted to do was pressure forward and put his chin on the chopping block a little bit more. He said, you know what? I need to take more risks and more chances. I didn't against Cannoneer. This one, you're going to see me take chances. And he is. Oh. <laughs> Each of these guys just throwing windmills a little bit. I'm laughing because they're such heavy punches these guys are throwing in such a quick scenario. I mean, they're heavy. And that's just what Imamov missing. has got to try to avoid, right? He's got to try to be the cleaner striker and not get into those close exchanges because Sean does so well in close, in tight, keeps his chin out of the way, even though it's up. I mean, Sean really kind of does keep it up high, but he has a knack for getting out of the way. Nice combination there from Strickland. Yeah, he's waiting for Imavov to throw something into his shell, and then he's countering off of that offense from Imavov. He's being first and third because you're seeing Strickland pressure and faint and then counter Imavov. Final 20 seconds of the first round. Total strikes, significant strikes, very close. Evened up, yeah. I mean, Imavov was ahead early, but Strickland really has closed that gap nicely. One more exchange. Second round is coming up. Strickland using the teeth to the body, just trying to walk him down, close space. Stiff jab. This pressure over five rounds is the key for Strickland. Just keep this, no, he's, he's always forward. He's very, look, he's moving back a little, but you'll see he'll get right back on the pedal and he's moving forward again and he's on Imavov, keeping him on his heels. And that's what adds up for Strickland's uh, style as the rounds move on. Strickland slowly wears on you. I mean, just minute by minute, second by second, he keeps you moving back. And you don't realize, man, I've been moving back for 15 minutes now before you know it. Strick, Strickland complaining about Imavov grabbing his glove, grabbing and holding his glove. No intervention from Smith. Oh. Looks like a pot, even a new level of anger out of Strickland. Nice one, two, three there. Nice basic combo, the three landed. And he just has a weird pause on that three. He throws the two, he ducks, and then the three comes over at a different timing. And that's why it's landing. He definitely has a style of his own with his boxing, Sean Strickland. Yeah. But it is effective. Oh. See, like all this weird head movement. He's got to be careful, though. Oh. Yeah, he got clipped on that one. They both took some shots in that little exchange. And in the corner, Imavov's coaches let him know that that that's when he's getting caught with some of those right hands is when Sean's dipping his head down and then coming over the top with the right. Oh, good timing. That? Beautiful timing on that takedown for Strickland. He, stole, he spoke about doing that just to break up the rhythm, and that's what you got to be doing. He yeah. didn't do a lot of damage, but it just to mix that in there keeps you thinking. Yeah, nice work, though, from Imav off to pop right back up, but it's good to see that from Strickland, that he's mixing in those takedowns. And then again, there's some control time on the fence. He's pressuring forward. And it's not the takedowns per se that they're scoring, it's what you do with them. He's still within the grasp here, so he's getting the control time, but obviously Mavov did a good job to spring right back to his feet. Final two minutes, round two. Oh. 
Some more heat coming on these combinations from Imavov. Nice right hand from Strickland. Some of these hooks from Strickland coming at very awkward angles. You can tell it's catching uh, Imavov, who's a very clean striker oh. off guard. Dean Thomas has been with us all night long. What do you see, Dean? You know, Sean Strickland has made a career off of making guys that are better than him, quicker than him, fight at his level. And when you fight at his level, he's better than you down there. So he's made a career off of that, and I see him going in that direction right now, forcing Imavov to fight his type of fight in which he's better at. And again, Strickland forces him back to the fence. There you see the output numbers and the connection rates. And Malvov landing at a higher clip, but Strickland right there with him in terms of volume. He's keeping it close. So the real question is, what does Strickland do to make it his style fight? What I see is he lands the jab early, he keeps the defense tight, and he always moves his opponents back. And now you're fighting at his pace. Starting to look for some of these bigger shots. Yeah, he's waiting for the openings. He's waiting for Sean to throw a one-two or a combination. He's sliding out of the way. Yeah, he's getting the timing now of Strickland. He's starting to understand the game Strickland's playing. Yeah. And he, he's making the reads back and now tagging him back third instead of waiting. Ooh, got Strickland Ooh. on that one. Hurt him. Is that an elbow yeah. that got through there? Just a little short. Short hook, it looked like it landed there. No more breaks for the duration of this. And I've heard Nixick a few times call for the left head kick. And I don't know how they wanted to set up, but you know how Sean likes to roll into that right hand and then come with the left hook? Well, he could just as easily roll his head through, come up with that left kick. Almost how, if you remember way back, how Carlos Condit hit GSP with that back in the day. One thing that might help Strickland, Strickland out a little is going to the body. He's not really going to the body either. Neither of these guys are really going to the body too much other than those teep kicks. Those are the best economical move he's made in this fight is going, those teep kicks to the gut are really adding up. Maybe adding some boxing to there as well on Imaba. You see, Sean, the way he's frustrating Imaba, pressuring forward, you, you got to wonder if he can make him bait him into a brawl, make him into, you know, make a mistake, open, and make an opening that he wouldn't normally do like that, something sloppy where yeah. he's getting frustrated. Even he, though he's having a lot of success himself, it's a, he's a weird guy to fight, man. Sean is so good at, kind of like how Dean said, just bringing you to his style. Yeah, Imavov has been a bit stifled here in this third round. He hasn't really thrown with the combinations with regularity as he did through the first 10 minutes. And it's a nice leg kick that time. It's this range that Strickland forces you to fight at that's different. You, you, he forces you to stay in boxing range the whole fight. And most MMA fighters were used to the kickboxing range, a little farther back, and you can set things up more. And so this close quarters boxing match is not what we practice too often. Yeah. Unless you're Strickland. Yeah, right. And he's sparring all the time with four-ounce gloves, so it just creates a different style. <laughs> 90 seconds to go in the third round. Imavov prepared to enter new territory. Has never had a fight go into the fourth round in his career. This is the fourth main event for Sean Strickland. They've all come in the last two years or so. Nice counter there from Strickland. He's standing right in the pocket. Just just completely welcome Imav off to stand and have a boxing match or a kickboxing match because Sean is kicking tonight. Doing a good job with that left prod kick straight to the gut. <laughs> little friendly reminder from the corner of Strickland that takedowns are there. Yeah. 
to notice he was breathing really hard after that last round, and I noticed in this third round, he's really being economical like his corner was asking him. Look how he's not breathing hard at all. He's very calm right now, Strickland. So he almost even got a second wind, it looks like, in yeah. this third round. Yeah, he, he, that's a good point. He really did. He, he did look like he was slowing down a little bit. I Maybe mean, not even slowing down, but feeling it for sure. This is experience. That's five round experience. And he just got out of that type of fight. And that's why he's got this pace. He's got this understanding of what kind of economy he needs to keep for five rounds. And in this third round, you could see he got a lot of his air back. Oh, a spin oh. from Imavov, and Strickland nearly turned it into a takedown, but he backs off. And they also believe they're losing on points. Live odds have Sean Strickland favored at minus 300 right now. Body head that time from Strickland. See how Sean just gets his arms up in the way to kind of deflect your punches off of his arms. He does a great job of doing that. Clinch initiated by Imavov. Strickland able to escape easily to his right. Total strikes are basically the exact same right now through three rounds and change. And what I expect for Strickland to do is kind of keep the same tempo all through this fourth as long as he stays through it. Then in the fifth, you'll see him really pick it up and try to win the fifth. That's his style most of the time. And that last round, he picks it up and almost always wins the last round. So we'll see what happens if they get through this one. That fifth round will be a banger. Ooh. He's slowly just landing more and more. Ooh, nice yeah. right hand. Yeah, Mabov starting to throw some power shots. A little more urgency after his corner, telling him to pick it up. It's Strickland with a nice land. I mean, you know, we're just looking at this. You, you think Sean's starting to slow down, and then he lands a, a, a nice combination like that. Even when he's tired, though, if he can fight economically at this pace. Oh, he hurt. Wow. All I need to see is that we have never seen Imavov fight this style of fight in his career, and we have seen Strickland fight this style of fight his entire career. And that's all you need to know is one fighter is fighting the other style right now. Strickland now just leaning on him on the fence as they go into deep waters, halfway through round four. Sean checking out the clock, just seeing how much time he got to work with. <laughs> this is where an extra 10, 15 pounds, 20 pounds of weight on fight night really works in your favor. Now, when you're out moving in the free-flowing middle of the spade, in the middle of the octagon, now your speed benefits you. But in this style fight, the fight we've been seeing where you're moving backwards, you're in boxing range, in the pocket, and you're in the clinch, that's a, that's a big man style. And... Strickland has a little bit more size in this particular finger, matchup finger. because of the weight class. Another one-two from Strickland as he lunges forward. Mavov trying to stay sharp, use his speed. What's crazy is either of these guys can turn each other's lights off with one punch for any second. That's the style of fight this is. They're always so close to these, to landing big shots on each other. And this is also, I believe, Imavov's first five-round fight, yes. correct? Here we are in the fourth, and you see him, he's, he's feeling it, for sure. There's, there's no doubt about that. And Sean has been here. There's something to be said about that. It doesn't matter if this wasn't the original opponent, none of that nonsense. Sean Strickland has been in five round fights that have gone the distance. That experience is something you cannot train for. And not just that, he did it this month. <laughs> Sorry, last month, not this month. Strickland now backing him up against the fence. Continuing to mix it up. 
Yeah, Sean is, is pulling away badly in this round. Well, not badly, it's still very close, but he's landing the cleaner shots in my opinion. This is where I'd like to see Imav off, if he could start to try to sneak in some knees and elbows and just change up the striking style on Strickland. Strickland just walked him across the entire octagon. Another one, two from Strickland. As the horn coming momentarily and will head to a, you can tell he is feeling it, holding on to the fence, sitting on the stool. Sean Strickland didn't even sit on the stool between any round as we enter the fifth and final. And Strickland believed that was a big advantage for him is his mentality and how mentally tough he is as the fight goes longer. That's how it appears right now, but Imavov certainly has the power and skill to change things should he land one big shot. Right over the top from Imavov. Oh, Strickland starting to unload as well. He ducks just at the right time and then creates an angle off the duck and he usually lands off that angle. It's just fundamentally he's been doing it every single round the same thing and it's just tough to tough to adapt to. Close. I was going to say Strickland trying not to take any silly chances with some control time along the fence. Imavov landed a big shot. Now he threw another one. Yeah, you're seeing Imavov switch to elbows now because of the close, close distance. A good adjustment, but you can see Strickland's obviously dealt with that in practice probably as well. Final three minutes. Game plan from Strickland in the fifth. Keep the pressure, keep the dirty boxing going, keep the clinch going, and then back to the pocket boxing. Don't allow Mavov to be moving. Don't allow him to use his footwork. Don't allow him to use his kicks. Minimize his weapons and keep him eye to eye, face to face for five rounds. And that's what Strickland wanted to do, and that's what he's been able to do so far. Getting tired, getting a little bit more loose in this fifth. We're seeing the last two minutes. This is where the mistakes can be made. Minimavov is trying. He's trying to get the separation. But Sean doing a nice job of just tying him up. There's the elbow again, but... And again, we've talked about it earlier. Dom mentioned it. That, that 10 pounds coming in lighter. It doesn't seem like a lot until you're in there. And yeah, then especially you feel it in the wrestling. Fight. 10 pounds is a lot. That's the difference of, the, of a whole weight class. Exactly. It's an entire weight class difference. Imavov still with a chance here as they swing in the center. Just over a minute to go. Strickland now slowing it down again as he looks to, uh, to salt away the victory to start his year. And what a turnaround it would be less than a month later after he goes five rounds with Cannoneer. He has certainly shown a renewed aggression in this matchup. Significant strikes round by round. Strickland really starting to pull away late. 
knee up the middle from Imavov. That was a nice read, and it's a little late. He's doing, that could have happened two, three rounds ago, those knees. If he finds the finishing touch, it'll be right on time. 30 seconds, last 30 seconds of this war. We'll see who wants it more here. Imavov, a little bird, dirty boxing, dodges the big hooks from Strickland. Right in the center with 15 to go. Strickland still marching forward, throwing shots. Imavov to the body, and Strickland letting it all hang out. Final seconds, and you can't ask for more than that from Sean Strickland. Noticed about this fight this week. 49-46 and 48-47, all for your winner by unanimous decision, Sean Strickland! I'm here with, thank you, Sean. Congratulations, are you going having a conversation with the judges? Oh, Making sure they got it right? It was a close fight with Jared, but I won. I beat the, next, the second, third ranked guy, and I'm only here because bad judging. Well, That's it. you got the nod tonight. You really seemed to find your rhythm. The boxing was on point tonight. You did mix in some takedowns. Was that, <laughs> you did, you got one down. So was yeah. that the game plan? Taking a fight off a four-month layoff and a three-week training camp, I questioned my cardio a little bit for a second. But then I remembered I got big old metaphorical nuts. And I can fight 25 minutes. I can fight an hour. And I fucking love you guys, man. Let's go. Fucking Trump 24 or whatever that is. Let's go. Well, Sean, yet another main event, another five-round decision. You come in here. You laid it on the line. You were more aggressive tonight. How do you feel? Did you try to go for the knockout more than usual tonight? You did put yourself out there. You were going for it. The only reason why this man hit me is because I wanted to finish him. And now maybe I did it because my cowardice, my cardio, but bottom line is I didn't finish him. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to go for those finishes for you, especially after my last boring fight. I won, but I fought like a bitch. And I don't, I don't want that to be tagged in my fucking name. So no uh, no more. That shouldn't happen anymore. Well, another victory, Sean, and, you know, another main event. You're always entertaining. You're always bringing your character to this. What what would you like next? Do you want another main event? How soon can we see you get back in here? Obviously, we see you can come in here off the couch and do five rounds if you had to. Whenever, man, whenever the UFC wants to find me worthy. And then uh, one quick, before I get out of here, man, UFC, you guys paid me a lot of fucking money to take this fight on short notice. I didn't want it, but you fucking paid me. And I thank you. I thank you, Mick Maynard. I thank you, Dana White. Uh, fucking, I'm a company guy, man. You fucking pay me, I'll fight Francis Ngani, Eric. <laughs> but uh, that being said, man, uh, I want to give my condolences to Bonner, man. The guy fucking paved the way to the sport. And just remember us old beat up fighters, man. After we end this fucking sport where nobody, we're usually broke, we don't got going, shit going on for us. So, you know, give the support to these old dogs that retire. It sucks teaching a cardio kickboxing class after, you know, after a career in the UC. Thank you, fans. Hey, thank you, and congratulations. Let's hear it for Sean Strickland, ladies and gentlemen. Well, a shout out to the late, great Stefan Bonner.